So what is up, guys? Nick here, helping you to master your technology. Now, we've done a speed test. We did a which is better video. But in this episode, I want to look at just the animations between the One UI 8.5 and iOS 26.2. Uh, essentially, what we're looking for is a C and going into 2026, which one kind of appears to look nicer as doing transitions between different app pages, animations launching, uh, quick panels, all kinds of stuff. So let's go ahead and get started with the unlock look. We'll start with the Samsung and you can see kind of flies in pretty quickly there and pops in rather fast. That's the face unlock. Let's go ahead and look here. You'll see they do have this little animation down here for the in display ultrasonic fingerprint. And you can see it kind of flies in fast, but also pretty smoothly. Now over here on the iPhone, let's go ahead and take a look at iOS 26. There is a little animation up there where dynamic Island pops open and closes. And then we swipe in it does look like that. So let's go ahead and do that again. And you could see kind of just flies in nicely, but you can see if I hold the page there, you can kind of hold it until it swipes in. So definitely looking for a little bit of a, a bit of a visual effect there. Now with the Samsung, to me, it's kind of just more snappy to get right in there on that initial animation when you're just launching into your phone. Now, the next thing I want to take a look at is the home screen transition. So we're kind of like swiping through. They kind of just go straight across. Now, you can change those within launchers on the One UI uh, due to being Android. You can change the way that looks, but you're going to have to download an application to go ahead and do that. When swiping into this area, it kind of flies right in there and then very fast down. You can use your alphabetical over here to go ahead and go through this app drawer. So very, very fast. It seems to me like it's really going for speed here on the Samsung. Very nice, just flying through everything. Now with the iPhone, you kind of got to swipe over and then you could see they kind of have that same feeling swiping across the pages. When going into app library, I feel like the Samsung kind of scrolls a little bit faster in this area. The iPhone kind of has like a, it almost doesn't feel like 120 hertz within app library. But if you click up here on app library in this section right here, you'll also get yourself the alphabetical list. And when you do this, it goes very fast as well. So in this area, that's very quick. So that kind of reminds me more of what Samsung feels like over there. So that's the home screen, not too much of a difference. They both kind of come stock feeling like they're swiping exactly the same way. So that is not too much of a difference here between the two software. So that's pretty good on both of them. Let's talk about the uh, the quick panel and the control center now. So we'll go up here on the left side. And as we pull down, you can see kind of going along with the other software. If you come down fast, it comes down fast, but you can also bring that down slow. If you want to see that transition, it's like translucent right there on a Samsung right there. And you'll see behind the quick panel, you can see like the apps a little bit translucent. If we're going to pull this down, you can see it kind of reveals itself a little bit reminds me of iOS right there, but you can see it kind of reveals each application. If you go down slowly, very nice right there. And then if we go ahead and swipe like that, it'll come down quickly. So you can enjoy the visual effects here on one UI as well. And then now it's vertical, but these pages, you can also go ahead and add them. But one thing I found with this is that if you do add the controls, it has that same like feel as iOS here with the way it looks, but it feels faster to navigate right there when we're going through the quick panel right there on one UI. So let's go ahead and take a look at the control center now on iOS 26.2, a little bit more bouncy there. So when we bring this down just a little bit more bouncy, of course you could bring this down slow as well, but it does, it reveals itself right about there. So when your finger gets right about this area by the antenna band, it reveals itself. A lot more bouncing, a lot more liquid glass going on. Let me know which one you prefer. I do notice when I go to add a control swiping through this, this kind of, you see how it, like it's kind of jumpy here. So Samsung's a little faster in this area, although where they add the controls now looks basically identical. I personally think the liquid glass looks a little bit more polished in this area than the Samsung's quick panel, um, but it definitely feels a little bit slower. It feels like it's like bouncing through the pages. Uh, that's actually a good thing if you like visual effects, um, but if you want speed, it feels like it could be a little bit slower feeling than just kind of like pulling down into your quick panel over there. And their notification areas are coming from the left. The cool thing about the Samsung though is that you do have notification settings right there. 
uh, front and center. So you can get right to those settings without going and digging around. I do tend to prefer that. On the iPhone, it's the same thing off to the left of Dynamic Island. You'll find it when you swipe up out of here. It kind of like redoes that animation though. Like it like flies back in every time if you come out of notifications. Now, if you do that on the Samsung, it doesn't quite do that. It just kind of reappears where it was. So that's a little bit different. Apple trying to show you you're coming back to your home screen every time. So just something that could actually make the phone feel a little bit slower, I think. Uh, if you're flying through things, you're kind of like moving fast. The Samsung could feel a little bit snappier in that respect overall. So I'm going to launch a few applications here, and then we're going to go ahead and I actually clicked that twice. We're going to go ahead and see how the animation looks going through them. So let's just go ahead and launch a few of these and let that load. Those Samsung apps look like they were loading faster. But as you see, when you fly in, Samsung kind of has this mix between kind of like flying in quickly and smooth now. It used to just be fast, but sometimes not as smooth. But if you come out slowly, it'll come out a bit slower. If I fly out, it kind of still comes out the same way, non-linear. So pretty nice. You can also go into developer options and lower the transitions to make this even faster and snappier feeling. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quickly here. So in developer options now, I scroll down and just put all these on 0.5 really quickly. And you'll see now those transitions are snappier and it actually still looks pretty smooth. So if you did want a little bit more speed, you can go ahead and do that without fully getting rid of the animation. Now let's swipe up out of there and we'll try out iOS over here and you'll see pretty snappy. They kind of speeded up their animations um, from previous versions of iOS. So they're definitely faster feeling now, but still they do have this um, visual effect that does slow them down a little. So if you are looking for full no animations, which I don't think a lot of people are, you can reduce motion on this phone and kind of get rid of those. Let's go ahead and take a look at that now. So in settings, we'll go to reduce motion. We'll click on this right here, reduce motion. And now it essentially gets rid of animation still kind of feels like it launches things at about the same pace. But if you don't want to deal with that stuff, there you go. Also, if we go ahead and swipe up out of here, you'll get rid of that flying effect with the reduced motion. Same with the bouncing. It's slow. It goes a little faster within here. And then over here, if I swipe in, it gets rid of that visual effect. So if you don't like those effects I've been showing you earlier, that's as simple as it is. All you got to do is go over to settings and reduce motion. You can also put on prefer crossfade transitions if you want to do that as well. So I do tend to prefer leaving it on for visual pleasure. It definitely feels nice when going ahead to open it up. Uh, you definitely tend to, it definitely tends to look nice, but the Samsung to me just is the productivity beast. You know, it's fast, it's snappy to fly through things when you're kind of like trying to get things done. And that goes for any of the S25 models. And now if we take a look at iOS, when we swipe through, once again, you're gonna find that smoother, but a little bit slower kind of going through there. It doesn't matter if I flick it, it is a little faster if I flick it harder, but generally it has this like motion. It's just like flowing kind of like smoothly, but not so fast. <laughs> so that's just something uh, to notate about them when it, the way they look when you when it comes to going back through the applications. Now when it comes to Android, you actually have the back gesture animations on pretty much all applications on both sides. So I can kind of swipe from that side or that side to get out of there. That's one of my favorite features of using the Android devices is just those back gestures are basically everywhere. Now on iOS, you can only go back when you're actually doing something within the app. So you can like back gesture where you were. Uh, if you go into something like say I'm in here, I'm looking at this picture, I can click, I can go back to the previous section like that, but I can't swipe out of the app like that. So that's definitely something that I prefer on One UI 8.5. It's definitely, it's mostly an Android feature, but I'm still bringing it up because it is something that we definitely tend to notice on the day to day. And the way they tend to look when going through things within the software also carries over. Samsung kind of still snappier here within application. So when you click things, a little bit less visuals going on. There's no like sliding through like liquid glass. It's more of a fast, let's get on with our day type of thing. Now over here with iOS, you kind of click things. They kind of like fly in a little bit differently. You can swipe through like this and you can see it loads like that. It kind of just has a little bit more of this, like the, these movements are just a little bit slower, but trying to look smooth and enjoyable, if you will. It kind of even happens within applications. So still, again, if you're looking for 
that visually pleasing feel, you'll probably like iOS a little bit more, but if you're looking for that fast and snappy productivity feel, trying to get through my day, trying to get my stuff done, bro, you're probably gonna like One UI 8.5 a little bit more. Also within the internet browsers, we do tend to have a little bit faster scrolling there, actually a lot faster scrolling on the Samsung now. That doesn't matter unless you're like trying to get to something very fast, you can still slow it down a little bit there. But iOS kind of doesn't really give you that super fast scrolling. It kind of forces you to slow down a bit. Now, if you like that smoother scroll, you'll probably prefer the iPhone, but it does take a couple more swipes to get down to where you're going, especially if a page is long or you're trying to get to something. Whereas Samsung, you could do like one flick, one flick of the finger and you'll be all the way at the bottom of the page a little bit faster. So just one flick, you could be all the way down there. So the scrolling is faster. I know it's not technically an animation, but definitely a little bit quicker there within browsing. So wrapping it up here, we looked at the animations on One UI 8.5. We looked at them on the iPhone. Generally, I feel like One UI 8.5 is a little bit faster feeling. iOS still trying to go for that look that definitely doesn't look like other phones. So they got a snappier looking uh, relaunch now into applications, but they're bouncing over here within the control center, the flying effect is really a little bit slow. It could be really nice to a lot of people, but a little bit slow compared to other competitors. So Apple's still doing that, trying to make it look visually pleasing, even though they technically could make it a little bit faster if they wanted to. Uh, but we have that option with reduce motion. So let me know which one you prefer when it comes to animations. One UI 8.5 or iOS 26 here heading into 2026. I tend to, I like both of them. I don't, neither of them really bothers me too much day to day, but if I only had to pick one, I think I prefer the way one UI feels day to day, just because it's super fast and efficient while still having some smoothness. iOS feels like it's a little bit slow with those visual uh, pleasing animations. So thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know which uh, videos you'd like to see next going into 2026. I'll catch you on the next one. Be sure to be well and enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Peace.